Number 39. Which contains the greatest mass of oxygen? 0.75 moles of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. 0.6 moles of formic acid, which is HCO2H. Or 1 mole of water, H2O, and then explain why. All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing three different types of conversion problems here. And I have limited amount of space because we do need the periodic table. So we'll just work on the first one first, and then I'll write the answers, and then we'll move on from there. But let's get down to it. Now, if you guys have been following this lovely channel, and I thank you guys for watching, um, you guys know that I love roadmaps for conversion factors, right? We've done roadmaps all in Chapter 1. So... In here, especially when you start getting into converting, you guys should plan out your roadmap because it will help you in the end. Now here, they want to know what the greatest mass of oxygen is. So that's the ending, right? And mass is always in terms of grams. So they want to find out the total grams of... Oh, that's my ending route. But now, what are the steps that I need to do to get there, right? Now, for each one of them, they gave us a mole of a specific compound, right? Whether it's ethanol, formic acid, or water. So that's going to be the start. So I'm going to say that we have to start with moles of a compound. And somehow, we have to go from a moles of a compound to grams of oxygen. But can we go there in one shot? No, right? We can only go from moles of the same element or compound, two grams of the same element or compound. So if I want to go to grams of oxygen, I have to make a pit stop at moles of oxygen. Because I know that one mole of anything equals the molar mass, which is in grams of that compound. But now I can go from moles of a compound to moles of an individual element. This is by using your ratios. So this is a two-step problem. We're first going to be converting from the compound to just oxygen, that's the first step, and then we use our ratios to go from uh, mole of oxygen to grams of oxygen, so this is a two-stepper for each one. So I'm gonna work with the first one first. So we start off with 0.75 moles of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. Now, obviously, I don't want that, right? And remember, whatever we don't want, we always times by a ratio in which we put that on the bottom. So a mole of C2H5OH. And the first part is I want to go to moles of the other we just want to go to moles of the actual element, which is oxygen. This is where your compound ratios will come in. I'll just put compound ratio here. Now, look in this compound, right? If I have one whole compound, aka if I have one mole of the entire compound, C2H5OH, how many oxygens are there? Well, let's see, C2H5OH, how many oxygens are in this compound? There's only one. So one mole of the whole entire compound equals one mole of just oxygen because I only have one oxygen. And that's how you get rid of mole of the entire compound. And now you're just left with mole of oxygen. Second step, times by another ratio because you don't want to you know, stop and calculate. Just keep going until you get the end result. We want grams of oxygen. So, mole of oxygen on the bottom, gram of oxygen up top. We know our conversion factor is one mole of anything equals the molar mass of that. So, I know that one mole of anything equals the molar mass. Well, where am I going to get the molar mass? Oh, it's oxygen. So, I got to look on the periodic table. Molar masses... Whenever you need to find a molar mass, it's always going to be found on the periodic table. So look for just oxygen. Just oxygen is right here. What's the molar mass for oxygen on your periodic table? 16. So 16.00 grams of oxygen equals one mole of oxygen. Moles of oxygen cancel, 
And now you're left with the answer because you want grams of oxygen. So calculus out, aka calculator. So all you got to do here is 0.75 times 16, which is 12. Okay. So you got 12 grams of oxygen for the first one. Box that answer off. That's the first answer. And now we just got to do the same thing two more times to see which one has the greatest mass. So I'm just going to put over here, this equates to 12 grams of oxygen. Now let's try the second one. 0 0.60 moles of formic acid, which is HCO2H. And now we got to do the whole thing. We got to do the compound ratio first, and then we can do the molar mass. So times by, we don't want moloformic acid, so mole of HCO2H goes on the bottom, and just mole of oxygen goes up on top. Kind of like the first part, right? It was kind of like this. But instead of using ethanol, we're just using formic acid. So if we had one whole compound of this, so that represents one mole. How many oxygens, right? How many moles of oxygen is there? Well, in the whole compound, we have HCO2H. How many oxygens are here? Two. So the two moles of oxygen equals one mole of the entire compound. That, cancels, that cancels out this. And now we're back to just going from moles of oxygen to grams of oxygen. So mole of oxygen on the bottom, gram of oxygen up top, one mole, I'm just going to put over here, one mole of oxygen equals 16. We'll say 16.0 because that's what's on your periodic table, grams of oxygen. So the 16.00 goes up here. Moles cancel out, and now you just do the math because we're left with grams of oxygen. So now in this case, it would be 0.6 times 2 times 16, which is... 19.2. Now here, let's just do sig figs. This would be roughly 19 because we started with two sig figs. We got to end with two sig figs. So 19 um, grams of oxygen. Box that one off. That's the answer to the second one. So 0.6 moles of formic acid gives you 19 grams of oxygen. And now we just got to figure it out for the last one. So one mole of H2O Mole of H2O on the bottom, mole of oxygen up top. If you have one whole H2O, one mole of H2O, how many oxygens are in H2O? H2O, there's only one here, so one mole of oxygen. And that cancels out the mole of oxygen, so it cancels out the whole thing. And then we just do the second step, times by another ratio, mole of Oxygen goes on the bottom, grams of oxygen goes up top. It's the same as the other two. One mole of oxygen equals the 16.00, or just 16. That cancels, and now we get the last answer. So it's technically 1 times 16, so it would be just 16 grams of oxygen. That's your answer to the third one. So that is this, 16 grams of oxygen. So, which one contains the greatest mass of oxygen? Obviously the one that has the largest number, so it would be the 19 grams of oxygen. So that means the 0 0.60 moles of formic acid would have the greatest mass of oxygen. Why is that? Because this one is the only one that had two moles of oxygen, the other ones had only one mole of oxygen in their compound. So that's explaining why. So this one would be the greatest because compound, COMP, has two moles of oxygen. The other ones had only one mole. H2O had only one, and ethanol has only one oxygen as well. So that answers the question. So... We're going to be doing a lot of conversions, especially moving forward. So the more practice, the better. All right. Hopefully this helped. If it did, tell us in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. I will answer back. And I appreciate you guys for supporting us and being there. And I hope you guys are learning a lot. Click the like button if it has helped. And if you want to help us back, um, 
hit the subscribe button, right? I would appreciate that. And I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.